You may or may not wonder how I got here. How I got into this void. How I got out of bounds. Or a place that looks like it's out of bounds. It's simple really. I live on the edge. But sometimes the edge needs to be crossed. And here I jump down. Down and down and down and down and down. This is a vertical IO game by the way. Imagine this, a brand new IO game and pff, not even 5 minutes in I'm being a particular dumbass. How typical. And eventually, I reach the bottom of this map, where nothing resides, other than the unending void. Well, not really a void, because there is a invisible wall in the way. And thus, that is how I got here, nothing special really. Oh shit, I better get out of here before I die from this. A red zone, you know it's a good thing we can climb walls. Where is the grapple hook when you need it? Maybe not, because when an IO game did that, it wasn't the best IO game. Ah, screw it, I said I live on the edge. I will fall to my inevitable death. Or can I simply get out of this quickly? The answer is yes. Yes I can. Although it's nice to see the background becoming darker and darker, as the red zone becomes higher. At first when I saw this game, I thought the tower was infinite. But no, there are 8 levels. The 8th level being right at the top of the tower. Well that's an interesting take on Civivio, or Unreal Tournament, remember that game? Whichever works. It's still an interesting concept, I would say. And what is interesting is I won just by simply hogging the edge. I clearly live on the edge. I don't just live on it, I win here. Maybe I should not be doing this whilst learning the game. But since it's a brand new game and there are not many players playing currently, mainly because it's not been getting any exposure yet, I feel like doing something like this is better. For the time being, at least you can have fun with an empty game doing stuff like this. If anything, it can help you get better at the game. Learn the game early. So is this really a good idea? Probably not. But if it is a good idea, maybe I shouldn't get knocked off so many times. This gameplay will only be good once I get better at the game. And maybe, just maybe, stuff like this will not happen. The Rookie's Curse. It's okay, I'll wait for them at the edge again. This time I will not fall off. Nah, who am I kidding? Of course I will fall off. It's just so I can look cool is all. It's only a matter of time before I face you again. And this time, I will not fail. It is you that will fail. In a not so epic 1v1. Yes, I am this dedicated. They are not, sadly. And I have to just come up here to fight them. That is not what I wanted to do. But I will play your game. I will play your game until the very end. Which will not be long now. So the end of these battles will be at the top of the tower. I do not know what to think of this, but it's certainly different, although not unique, to a game like Civivio or any other Battle Royale, so I applaud it. Though if you fall too far down, you're simply not going to win. Imagine being at the end of this, and you get shot down to the bottom of the tower, in the red zone. Yeah, you're done for. It takes around 15 seconds, from the edge of the tower, to the bottom of the tower. I don't know if this will be useful information, but it is information nonetheless for this game. I will gladly find these out for you. It is useless information that I will gladly provide to you. You are welcome! Don't forget going up the tower, because going up the tower takes a lot longer, and it is obviously harder, and more challenging. So I will do this as well. This is the perks of living on the edge. You can do stuff like this, and nobody will judge you. And it can also be quite interesting to know, especially if you are stuck down here when you're in the red zone. I have almost reached the summit of the tower. I have achieved it in 1 minute and 13 seconds. What an accomplishment! Again, useless information. You are welcome. This concludes part of my session. Enjoy the game. You may or may not like it. It's worth a shot at the very least.